The ticks that transmit Lyme disease are the deer ticks, and it's typically the nymph stage of the tick that's most infectious, and uh, they're quite small, just a few millimeters, the size of a, a pencil tip. So if you find a tick like that, and it has, appears to have been on your child or yourself for over 24, 48 hours, then the potential for having um, uh, contracted Lyme disease from the tick is a little bit higher. There are a lot of ways to remove a tick and some are better than others. Um, so the one that's most effective is actually just to steadily remove it with the tweezers and the pointy head tweezers um, are a little bit easier to use and the idea is just to pull with slow steady tension um, until the tick is removed. Sometimes there are a little bit of mouth parts left behind, um, and if that's true, it can be irritating, but the risk of Lyme disease isn't continuing if those little parts are left behind. So after removing a tick, many people are anxious that they were exposed to Lyme disease with that tick bite. Um, some parents or patients uh, request antibiotics or inquire about antibiotics. There is some data in adults, not children, that a one-time dose of the antibiotic doxycycline can help prevent Lyme transmission in the highest risk tick bites, so the right type of tick and signs that the tick had been attached for uh, long enough, so the, the tick being engorged. We don't have similar data in children, so specifically children under eight who we don't prescribe doxycycline to because of the side effects. We don't have similar data with a different antibiotic to use at that point. So that's why often we'll be telling parents with young children just to watch that area where the tick bite is and we won't prescribe antibiotics um, most often in those circumstances. The first sign will be a rash, uh, classically called the bullseye rash, um, and it's basically a flat red rash that uh, evolves around the site that the tick has bitten. Um, sometimes it can almost look a little bit bruised or sometimes there can even be signs of uh, blistering, um, but typically it's a flat red rash that uh, sometimes, but not always, has an area of central clearing. And then you would want to show that rash to to um, your pediatrician or your doctor and they would put you on the appropriate antibiotics for Lyme disease.